Carrie Kovarik. I am an assistant professor here in the dermatology department. I also have a secondary appointment in infectious diseases and I'm also a dermatopathologist. My first trip to Africa was uh, to Swaziland during my internship and I, I really started noticing the reality of HIV and how many skin conditions uh, we were seeing with uh, in patients with HIV. In 2006 I became faculty at Penn and found out that they had a large partnership in Botswana. And as I started traveling to Botswana working with both Penn and Baylor we also realized that teledermatology would be helpful both on the grounds of the main hospital but also in the surrounding district hospital. So when we started scaling up teledermatology in the internet-based application, we realized that a lot of clinicians didn't have access to computers or internet capabilities. We, we realized that the best way to allow them to connect to dermatologists was through mobile phones. The mobile phone connectivity is incredible throughout the country and really in many African countries and that helped us to uh, find a partner to develop a mobile application so that clinicians in rural areas could submit cases to us through telemedicine. So one of the main goals of the program is to help uh, the in-country clinicians to best utilize the resources that they have. They have many local experts, however, most of them are concentrated in the capital city. So mobile telemedicine helps the remote clinicians access those specialists in a more efficient way. Okay. When there's a clinician in rural Botswana who wants to consult one of the experts, they'll take the phone, go through the appropriate questionnaire. So for example, if it's an oral medicine consult, they'll open the oral medicine questionnaire, answer the questions related to the patient's history, and then take the photos. Then they'll upload it to the server and I'll get an email that I have a case to answer. And then I log on to the website where it shows me all of the answers to the questionnaire. The questions are written in red and the answers are next to that. And then I go down a little bit further and I can see the photos that they've sent. And if you click on it, it'll enlarge the photo. And this patient has a large red area on their lower lip. So for this patient, the <laughs> clinical history and clinical images were sent to Dr. Puthago, who is the local oral medicine expert and he answered the consult and recommended some local anti-inflammatory treatments. If the patient then comes back to the clinic and is not doing better or Dr. Puthago needs additional help with the consultation, he'll then send it to us at Penn and we'll answer the consult. So what we hope for the future is that we can scale up the program in a way that all the remote clinicians have access to specialty care and consultations through the mobile phones. Right now we're working in about five district hospitals, but there are many more hospitals where there's clinicians that really need this resource.